tell me, if you will, about this particular vehicle, why it's here, what it took to get you here, and more important, where is it going? Thank you. So I'm with Joby Aviation, and we specialize in vertical takeoff electric aircraft. Several years ago, we started working with NASA Langley in collaboration to develop a high-endurance VTOL aircraft. And what you see here is our first iteration of Lotus S. Lotus S is a 55-pound UAV that can vertically take off, and in this evolution can have an endurance of somewhere between two and three hours. Well, when you look at it at first, what, you, what appears to be a very unique wingtip actually has a far more propulsive effect. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, what you've done here? Absolutely. So we create a vehicle that has a three-point rotor system, and the rotors on the tips of the aircraft are actually embedded into the wing. And so we can actually move the rotor around, and now we have a very large disc area, reducing hover power. How did this come to be? This is a pretty unique solution. I mean, we've seen propulsion systems built into the wingtips before, of course, but nothing quite this elegant, or for that matter, this eye-catching. Well, we found that in order to have the most efficient solution, you need to integrate the entire package. It's not just about hovering. It's not just about your forward flight. You need to combine them in an elegant solution. And what we found here after running many simulations with CFD is that by countering the tip vortexes in forward flight, that we can increase wing area and create an amazing loiter machine. So where does an idea like this come from? At the beginning of this program, we were asked to have the highest endurance aircraft that we could produce. And at a larger scale, what is in front of you is a 55-pound scale. It was envisioned to have a 275-pound embodiment and that could need an endurance of 24 hours. We believe that this aircraft at a 22-foot span can do that. So talk about the larger how you upscale a vehicle like this. That's a great question. Uh, to be honest, I feel that it gets easier. We have larger rental numbers and we have more space to work. At the current embodiment, things started to get pretty small. So really, this is a scale model and we're looking for a customer that would be interested in those capabilities. Where do you see a mission for this kind of vehicle? Well, the question is, where do you not see a mission for this type of vehicle? You can have a defense situation where you could lift off from A, go to a location B, then take off and go to a C. Or you could be traveling along a pipeline for many hours and checking that the possibilities are endless. So what's the future profile? Where, are you, where do you go next with, a tech, uh, with technology like this? How do you get it developed? How do you bring this to the real world? It's one thing to go from think tank to working system. Well, absolutely. And here at Joby Aviation, we're working on a lot of different projects. This is just one of the projects we're working on. For the UAV, we're looking for partners that would like these capabilities, and we would love to work with them to really evolve this into a product line. On the other end, we're actually working on entire personal aviation craft to fly around actual people for a place scale. If you go to our website, Joby, J-O-B-Y dot arrow, you can check out, we have a YouTube video of what we believe that looks like. When you develop something like this in the back of your mind, you've got a use that for some reason or another just fits into where you want to see it in the world. What do you want to see this be, be doing in the next four or five years? Well, I mean, we're at a tipping point of an amazing possibility. This entire industry is becoming completely a technical minefield of amazingness. And really, this is going to open up the doors of delivery and just seeing things that you couldn't see before for an extended period of time. Uh, in the next couple years, I think everyone is going to be amazed at what these products can actually do for us in a number of different situations. Edward, we're really looking forward to seeing where this shows up next. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com 
Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.